Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Keisha Golder, and in today's video, Effective Parenting During Teen Emotional Outbursts, we're tackling a topic that many of us can relate to, navigating those tricky moments when our teens start yelling or acting out. It's no secret that these situations can leave us feeling overwhelmed and unsure of how to respond. But fear not, in this video, I'll be sharing some practical strategies to help you stay calm and connected during those challenging moments. Let's dive in and explore why teens may lash out emotionally. It's important to understand that behind every outburst, there's usually an underlying reason. It could be stress from school, frustration over a disagreement, or simply a need for attention. By recognizing these root causes, we can respond more effectively and empathetically, creating a safe space for our teens to express themselves. Schedule regular one-on-one -on -one time with your teen to check in on their emotional well-being. Practice active listening and empathy to better understand your teen's perspective and encourage open communication by creating a judgment-free environment where your teen feels comfortable expressing their feelings. Now, let's talk about the power of staying calm. Picture this, your teen is upset, raising their voice, and you have the choice to react in two ways. You could match their intensity with your own, which is going to do nothing but escalate the situation, or you could remain calm, maintaining control of your emotions, and modeling healthy behavior for your teen. By choosing the latter, you not only de-escalate the conflict, but also demonstrate the importance of emotional regulation. Develop a mindful practice to help you stay present and calm during stressful situations. Take deep breaths and count to 10 before responding to your teen's outbursts. And remind yourself that your calmness sets the tone for the interaction and can help de-escalate the situation. Next Let's discuss the significance of nonverbal communication. Our body language and tone of voice can speak volumes, especially during heated moments. By using a gentle tone and open body language, we convey understanding and support to our teens, even when words fail us. The nonverbal communication creates a space for our teens to share their feelings without fear of judgment. Pay attention to your body language, ensuring it conveys openness and empathy. Practice using a calm and soothing tone of voice, even when discussing difficult topics. And use eye contact to show that you're fully engaged in the conversation. Let's talk about redirecting attention. Sometimes, the best way to diffuse tension is to shift the focus away from the conflict. Suggesting a walk or engaging in a different activity can help both you and your teen cool down and approach the issue from a fresh perspective. This allows you to address the underlying issues calmly and constructively. Have a list of alternative activities ready to suggest when tensions arise such as going for a walk or doing a puzzle together. Encourage your teen to take a break and engage in a calming activity like listening to music or journaling and redirect the conversation towards problem solving and finding solutions rather than dwelling on the conflict itself. Moving on to validation and empathy. It's crucial to validate your teen's emotion. Even if you don't agree with their behavior, acknowledging their feelings with phrases like, I understand why you're upset, helps them feel heard 
and supported. This fosters a deeper connection between you and your team, building trust and strengthening your relationship. Lastly, there's no shame in seeking professional support. If you're feeling overwhelmed or if your teen's behavior persists, don't hesitate to reach out to a therapist or a counselor. Prioritizing mental health is essential for both you and your teen's well-being. And seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Research therapists or counselors in your area who specialize in, who specialize in working with teens and families. Have a conversation with your teen about the benefits of therapy and reassure them that it's a positive step towards their emotional health. Schedule an initial consultation with the therapist to discuss concerns and explore options. So there you have it, folks. If you're ready to deepen your connection with your teen and navigate emotional outbursts with confidence, don't let these challenges hold you back from building a strong, resilient relationship with your teen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more empowering content to help you and your teens increase emotional intelligence. Join us next time as we discuss habits to be successful at raising emotionally intelligent teens. Thanks for watching, and remember, you've got this. I'll see you guys later.